I was very scared to pick up the guitar. If that was so quickly gone, maybe my motor skill with guitar is gone, and that was kind of heartbreaking and tragic. Oh my god, that's not as bad. Oh yeah, there it goes. Yeah, and I can't do it. I was studying for the MCAT. I was in the middle of my final year in getting my neuroscience degree. One day I just got home out of nowhere as I couldn't speak um, or understand words the same way. I, I think honestly something's wrong. I don't know. I have to, uh, I'm going to have to go to a neuro neurologist. So a cavernous mouth formation is an abnormal growth of blood vessels in the brain. So he was very familiar with the brain, that with the different symptoms that can uh, arise from uh, brain problems. Uh, it must be the Broca area of my brain that stopped um, having some trouble. And I thought it would just go away on its own, so I, I spent the day kind of running little tests on myself. Costas Recorda. I know this place. Um, this is a this is a country, Costa Costa Rica. The brain is a very complex organ. It has multiple uh, centers for language, for music. So even if you have a deficit in one of those centers, the other centers in the brain can continue uh, functioning, and that's why he was able still to play his guitar, but at the same time was not able to sing. When I knew that there was something wrong, I started recording myself just because um, I'm an EMT, and I knew that. Uh, I wasn't having a stroke. That, that I've memored, oh. uh, memorized. I realized that, you know, life is funny and it can really uh, not go the way you planned. What if this is permanent? And if this is permanent, then maybe I can't be a doctor. We treated him initially with medication and he stabilized, uh, his symptoms eventually resolved. The other option would have been a surgical approach. However, in, in his case, it's a very sensitive and eloquent part of the brain. Thankfully, we didn't need to go down that route. And he does very well at school. And the last time I caught up with him, he was applying to medical school. Even if I, I finished with like, you know, by the skin of my teeth, at least I proved to myself that this isn't big enough to, to stop my life. When I went into that semester, and I tried harder than I ever had in anything, um, uh, finishing with a 4.0, I just did not see that coming whatsoever. Like, no matter what happens, I completely revamped my priorities. You know, I realized that there were so many little things I was focusing on, and I changed it all to number one is my health.